Oh, Charlie man. Wives, Steve Winwood. Yes, sir. All the Zona Sisters. Ringo Starr. Yeah. Yeah. So the story I always heard was that, that Clapton invited you over to his house and he pretty much did. said, he did. see any guitars pick that you, you like? Pick you. Pick you told me pick three of them. Really? So you get, you would forget to pick your three of them. Good. I went around. <laughs> he ain't told me to jump. I, I, I tell you, they will kind of get really? to your name. Blah, 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 blah. I got, I picked, I, I bet you I plucked so many guitars. I didn't pluck them all. Because... I stopped. I said, hey, man. He said, hey, you ain't seen nothing you like yet. You ain't, you ain't through. I said, look, what you got in them cases down there in the floor? I know where it was. <laughs> I know where it was. He started trembling. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Oh, I saw it, man. I said, hey, man, you ain't no need you getting scared or anything. I, I would buy, I knew they should get to our dad. He said, you would, let me tell you, they, that is, they are. But if you want one of them, you welcome. He said, but now, nah, let me tell you something. You. He said, if I want to get to our back, will you please give it back? I'll buy it back. I said, no, you ain't gonna buy nothing back, man. I said, other words, yeah, if you want to get the back, I'll tell you what, I'll I, I, I give it back to you. I just want it just because it's, it's yours. Wow. That's what I want, just because it's yours. Sure enough, man, he let me have it. And but he gave he you black had, then. Look, I didn't rest now day after I got back home. Mm. He had his butler call. Last somebody called was his butler. Hey, old <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Really? <laughs> Africa, you, I said, look, man, <laughs> and you ain't the only one calling me. I said, please, please let me, I'm going to play Montreal. I told him, I said, you tell Eric I'm going to play Montreal. He got to play. I know I kept up with people dates and things, them, period. Because I knew, the, I knew them have to give him his guitar back. Yeah. He, we played Esquire Club in Montreal. Mm -hmm. John Lee Hooker, us and John Lee Hooker. We was there for a week. And John Lee Hooker had to play a set and Wolf had to play a set. So after John Lee was first, and then we was off a set, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Between the sets, I take it, it's guitar, man. Wolf, Wolf told me to take it too. And he said, hey man, take a guitar as much as we is, because Eric gonna be playing. I said, I know. Oh, I see. And I taking it over there where, to the hockey rain where he was playing. And man, they had they, they know that I was coming with that guitar. They had me uh, open up all the man that the people lined up trying to get in. <laughs> Took me on back to the dressing room, man. Yeah. He just stand up in the door. <laughs> <laughs> he was happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> he said, How much you owe you? I said, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. I'm sorry I kept it so long. You know? <laughs> I never did Play on that guitar? Never. Never. Yeah. Never, never played on it. Yeah. I, can't, I put strings on it. Mm -hmm. Did you know? That month I put strings on it. And yeah. so, I don't know that I put the strings on it right. You know, but he got it back. 